I'm domesticated. Is it not what it's called? The person? Okay, I'm sorry. I, no, English is not my first language, please. <laughs> it's my act is my second language. My first language is Igbo. So if I make a mistake speaking the English, please pardon me. Mm -hmm. Forgive me, okay? Mm. So if I say the wrong English, please. Mm. Why is my mouth spraying sprinkler in my mouth? <laughs> All the booze you drink during the day. <laughs> 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 Guys, we are very, very silly people and goofy. Don't take us seriously. We are not trying to offend anybody by this video. to make anybody upset we are not racist and we are not colorists this is just our opinion so please do not feel a certain way you know um during this video it's not supposed to be it's not serious okay i'm making this video for african women that have the intention of marrying an Af a sorry an american man especially a white man this is my opinion you know and what i think you should know or have in mind before you jump, you know, into it, think properly, okay? All right, so we have the pros and the cons of marrying a white man. Maybe do you want to start from the pros or from the cons? Go ahead, wherever, I don't care. Okay, we'll start from the pros, because I don't want, I don't want to start listening to the cons and people will be like, oh my goodness, she is just here trashing <laughs> us or saying all these negative bad things about us. So let me make you all happy first, okay? Let me make you all happy and then we'll go to the cons. So we'll start from the pros. The number one pros of marrying an American man, especially a white man, is they are more accepting of your past. Mm. Yeah, they are more accepting of your past than... African men would, especially Igbo men from Nigeria, they would not, like they would judge a woman by her past, even though they themselves, they have pasts. They would judge you by your past. If you have had a child outside of wedlock, or if you've been married before and you have children, yes, they will always throw it in your face, even though they have several from different women. <laughs> so yes, um, American men, they understand that everybody has a past. All that he cares about is who you are now. Right, baby? Mm -hmm. They accepted you with everything. You accepted me with everything. Exactly. What is it? Baby, I didn't have anything for you to accept. <laughs> I was good and pure in goals. I don't have any past. Mm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Of course, he accepted me and my kids, and he he took them like like you you would not know that he's not his children. In fact, I'm gonna speak on this man later. The second one is they are more romantic. <laughs> Just calm down because the cons of this one is coming. Mm. I don't it's... fit into the cons. I'm not pro. <laughs> Okay, another thing. This is not based on my marriage. This this thing I'm about to say is not based on me marrying him. If I'm talking about general, for the most part, this is what I think. Okay, so, yes, they are more romantic than African men. African men, doesn't they don't know what romance is. <laughs> um, an American man, a white man will... Spoil you with like flowers, cards, you know, um, they will drop petals, rose petals on the bed with you for you before they knock you up for you, know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> At least before they give you some grinding, you know what I mean? Rose petals everywhere with 
candles, you know, good smelling candles to, to calm your, you know, before they, yeah, they deal with you in, in, in the places that you want to mm, be yeah, yeah, yeah. dealt with. <laughs> so, maybe is that the only meaning of romance? What else could romance be? Yeah, they will take you to beautiful places. Yeah. They will write you poems yeah. and poetry yeah. or whatever. And, you know, take you to beautiful places yeah. to see. But cons is coming because they don't spend their money on you. <laughs> <laughs> they hardly spend their money. You're on the pros. Price. You're on the pros. Oh, okay. <laughs> Stop going to cons. <laughs> okay. The African Nigerian man does not know what romance is. Anyway, later I'm gonna make a video of um, the differences between marrying an American man and marrying a Nigerian man. Anyways, let me not digress. Okay, number three, they give you your freedom. By this I mean, do you want to also contribute something? Am I the only one speaking here? You're the only one speaking here right now. <laughs> yeah, you're waiting to attack me at the clones. <laughs> I'm the only one speaking right now because he's agreeing with everything. He's like, check, yes, check, that's me, yes, that's that's my American brothers, yes. Once I get to the cons, I am waiting for his atomic bomb to be released. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so number three, um, yeah, number three, they will give you, they give you your freedom, yes. They will let you do whatever it is you set your mind to do. They will let you achieve your dreams if you want to go anywhere. As long as you, the woman, have the money to sponsor it, go for it. That's not true. Baby, like I said, I'm not, this is not based on I us. Didn't say you it. Are, I didn't say it was. Hmm. But you're a special breed. You're a different breed. But for the most part. Okay. Wait, wait, wait till the cons, because I have so much. Okay. So, but anyway, they will let you be who you want to be. They will not restrict you. They will not um, hold you. They will not cage you. You know what I mean? Like they are, like the Nigerian, especially Igbo man would. No, you don't. For the Nigerian woman, not just Igbo man. For the Nigerian man, you do not have a life of your own. You do what he wants you to do. You do what he says that you should do. So yes, your freedom, you have your freedom to do whatever. As long as you're not going against the principles of the marriage or the relationship, you are good. So you will never feel like a maid. Yes, you will never feel like a maid. Like when I, when I met my husband and well, you know, it, during weekends, and he comes to pick me up, and we, we go to his house. And you know, there are a few, don't worry about it, baby. I know you walk so long, so don't worry about it. You walk a lot, but you know, the house needs you know, it needs to be picked up, needs to be organized. And I start sweeping and cleaning and picking up and you know, arranging the things. He will be like, Babe, please, it's my mess, I'm gonna fix it. I've just been working all week, I've not had time to, <laughs> baby, leave it alone. I'm going to clean it. I'm like, No, babe. It's my responsibility. Mind you guys, I was born in Nigeria. I lived all my life in Nigeria. I was born and raised. In fact, I've been in America for just four years, right? So I have that, still have that mentality of it's the woman's place like to pick up and clean up. So he would tell me, babe, just leave it, please. It's my mess. I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to clean it. And I'll be like, no, baby, it's okay. I'll do it. So yeah. That I'm sure that that was how why he was like yes this woman I'm gonna keep it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that, and he smiled he like oh my goodness <laughs> what is this this woman I am going to knock her up she's not going anywhere mm -hmm. I'm sure that is why so, <laughs> so yes the and and then after we got married he will not let me do his laundry he will eat. And if I want to take away his place and put it in the sink, he will say, no, baby, baby, you are my wife. You're not my maid. Like, baby, can I at least please do your laundry? He will let me do his laundry. So, yeah, he will be like, babe, you're my wife. You're not my housemaid. Please let me do it. So, yes, you will never feel like you are a maid because they are really hands-on when it comes to, they are domesticated, right? That's how. <laughs> yes, I'm domesticated. Is you know what it's called? The person? Okay, I'm sorry. I, no, English is not my first language, please. 
<laughs> it's my act is my second language, my first language is English. So if I make a mistake speaking the English, please pardon me. Mm -hmm. Forgive me, okay? Mm. So if I say the wrong English, please. Mm. So the next one is though they respect you and have regard for their woman. Yes, they will respect you, they will not cross any boundaries that you have set or things you don't like. Or for instance, at night, and he wants to, you know, um, dig your honeycomb and you're tired. <laughs> wow. And you're tired, you know, and you say, babe, please, I'm not feeling it. He will, he will leave you alone. You know, they will, they will leave you alone. They will not force themselves on you. Um, if you don't like jokes, they will not joke. If you don't, whatever you don't like, whatever are your boundaries or your, or, you know, things that you don't like to do, for the most part, they will not do it. They will not try to, you know, do that. But for the African man, no, you, in fact, he owes that your, <laughs> that stuff between your life is his own. He bought it with his money. As per bride price, mm -hmm. you're giving it to him whenever he wants it. He doesn't care. Um, an American man, even if you go six months without being in the mood, he will respect that. It's not good and it could push him away. But yeah, he will not. He won't, he won't even ask you two times. So, yeah. And the respect, another aspect of their respect for their women is how they talk. So the women, they talk with so much regard. They will address you with respect and regard. Uh, for the most part, uh, Nigerian men, they will just open their mouth and talk to you anyhow they want. How they want. Mostly because they are the breadwinners. They, they make the most money. So um, you don't get a say. Um, really. So um, you will not feel alone. Yes. That is one thing um, that I like about American men. The white man, you will never feel alone in the relationship. Like, you're not questioning, does he love me? Does he not love me? No, you won't really question it. Because if, if they don't love you, you will know. Like, there's, there's no hiding it. If they don't love you anymore, yes, you will know. They will tell you and they will walk away. Like, there's no there's no you trying to figure out, is he, is he still in this or is he not? Nigerian man will... Pretend will just sit there and be doing something else or he has checked out But he still be in the relationship maybe because of the kids or because he doesn't want to pay child support <laughs> uh, if, if they're in America, sorry, if they're living in America in the back home, they will start, you know They'll be doing all sorts of things. They don't they don't care, you know And they might not even give you the time and you're wondering for the most part They don't give you the time they give you the money, but they don't, they don't give you the time So you'll be wondering What's going on? Uh, when you're going through things, they don't have time for you. They're not there for you. They're working. They're workaholics. So, but the American white man or American man, he will be there with you and for you. You will never feel alone. Um, the next one is their help with the home. Oh yes, they could change the baby's diaper. They will sweep. They will clean. They will cook for you. They will do the lungs. They will take out the trash. They will do yes. They, they will, in fact, uh, the American woman will just sit most of the time and the man is doing the whole thing for the most part. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one applies to me, okay? <laughs> see me, eh, African woman, I come to America and I, I see this man I, and he's trying to do everything. For the first time in my life, let me enjoy now. Let me see. Let me be clear with let me enjoy small how about mm. so <laughs> and then another one is that they are br brutally honest they are honest like they will tell it as it is they will not should have put anything you know they won't they won't try to soothe you when it's not you know what i mean with words baby can you help me with this in this part? Brutally honest. It's you ask me for the truth. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, for instance, mm -hmm. you ask me for the truth, I'm going to tell you the truth. No matter if it hurts your feelings or not, you're asking me for the truth, I'm giving you the truth. Yes. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another one, another pros that we didn't write down here is that they are very good with their step kids. For instance, if you have, if you have children, 
before you met him, they are more accepting and very good with their stepchildren than an African man will be. An African man will, will most likely not even marry a woman that already has a kid. Yes, because um, his parents will not take it. His siblings, like when you're marrying an African, a Nigerian man, you're marrying him, you're marrying his mother, you're marrying his sisters and brothers. And they all have a say in your relationship and they all have a say in your marriage. And uh, any woman that already has kids, either before she got married or she got married and divorced with kids, that type of woman is not ideal for their son or their brother. So they are going to fight it initially to try to make it not work. They're going to fight you and if the man says no i really love this woman and i will marry her most of the time he's not like your children is your problem most of the time so the american man the white man is more accepting the court is because it's a common thing here almost most people have kids either outside wedlock or they've been divorced like since i met my husband i met my husband in 2018 right and ever since then, guys, he has been a father. Like, he would know that my other children are not his. It's just the skin color that you will, will make you know that those children are not his. He, his. I've never worked. I don't work. And we're not on any government assistance. We are not. We don't have full stamp or session it or all that. So you can imagine three children plus me. And then two that we have together, he is providing for them. He will go. In fact, he knows about their school more than I do. He will go for the school meetings. He will go and enroll them. Anytime we move he, or we, you know, either city to, to city or when we move to Houston, he will enroll them in school. He will do all the running around. When it's time to buy them clothes, he will take them and go. Like he is, they are his children. No African man will do that. I'm sorry. But rarely, if ever, you will never find an African man that will do that. So this video is getting long. Maybe I, will, I might cut it into two because we have not even gone to the cons yet. So, yes, um, <laughs> the American man, oh yeah, they are more accepting. They don't bat an eyelid about that. It's usually not a problem for them. Not They might not always, they might not... Um, Take full responsibility of their stepkids because mine is just like I said, mine is an exceptional man. They might not take full responsibility, but they will be a father to those kids for the most part. Yes. Um, now to the cons. Uh -huh. That's where I'm waiting for my husband's reaction. My husband is gonna be like, yeah, I'm bad. I, 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 mm. Okay. Now for the cons, it's usually a 50 50 relationship. Do you agree or not? If you're both working. Mm. If you're both working, it's usually a 50-50 relationship. So if you're an African woman trying to marry an American man, white man, you should be ready to be sharing the bills. Like the bills will come, you will share it, we will share... Um, I'm not talking the, just about bills. I'm talking housework, child rearing, yeah. you know, raising, yeah, I was cleaning, going to, you know, all that. Yeah, I was coming. They're both to... working. I, I, you know, <clears> if, I'm, <throat> if I'm the only one working, I shouldn't be coming home, being expected to mop the floors and clean the bathroom and do the beds. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not saying I'm not going to come home and not do something. I'm not going to not help you. So, but yeah, when I say fifty-fifty, I was meaning the financial part of it, though. Well, it's kind of more beneficial to everybody, honey. I know, but for American men, for for the white man, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. Even if the woman is working and she's not making as much, the men usually I still expect them to pay their own part of the bill, and it's usually always fifty fifty. It's not always true, baby. Honey, if I if I if I'm making a hundred fifty million dollars a year, and you're making twenty five thousand dollars a year, I'm not gonna make it fifty fifty. If the bills are $25,000 a year for everything, you pay it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, don't mind it. That part is not true. <laughs> okay, did I delete anything? No. I hope not. Okay.
Okay. <laughs> the second one is they don't hesitate to walk away from you. No, they don't. Like uh, forever till death do us part. It's not a thing. It's not usually a thing with them, baby. When they're tired, instead of them to stay in the relationship and cheat on you or and have all that headache, they will walk away. The African man is about family, even though he's not about family. If you know what I mean, like he will be tired of you. He would. He doesn't love you anymore, but he will still be in there just to have that family appearance and maybe just for the kids, you know. But he will be in there. He will be jumping from the one woman to the other. He, when he checks out, like he he will be sleeping with everything in his skirts. The African man, but the American man, when they're done with you, they are done. When they like, they will not hesitate to walk away. No, no kid is keeping them with you. No, nothing. They sign them to the, you know, to you forever. They won't hesitate to wait, walk away. Um, they won't spoil you with gifts. Maybe, but it's true. Don't you agree? Not with everybody. Hmm? Not every man. Every white man. Maybe, every American man. Maybe for the most part, they won't spoil you with gifts. They will buy you flowers and cards. Am I gonna wear flowers and cards? <laughs> this is not about us. This is just generally. But like African men, they spoil you with money. They spoil you with gifts. It's because they're buying your time so that they can go do whatever they want with someone else. <laughs> they will like they will give you cards. You go and go to the boutique wherever you want. Just swipe on. Yeah, unlike the black man, the black man will give you all the money in the world. Don't just try to slow him down or get into his affairs. Yeah, he will give you his card. Go and do whatever you want with his money, but don't check his phone. And don't try <laughs> <laughs> and don't try to check him where you know what he's doing with other women. No, just mind your business. Take the money and go. Just leave me alone to do my stuff. Yeah, with a white man, you won't get that. Sorry. <laughs> they are not very um extended family friendly. Yeah, so the African, the Nigerian man. It's about you and your mom and your siblings and your uncles and your aunts and whoever is in your extended family. The American man is more immediate family person, right, baby? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even sometimes when you want to visit, you have or not even sometimes, you have to call them, you have to tell them, you have to plan it, they have to give you permission before you come. Who? The American man. Baby, I'm not talking about you. Baby, no, I'm just you. asking. Yeah, the uh, white I didn't man. say you're talking about me. No? I didn't say you're talking know. about me. I know, but no, is it not true? It's not so much that it's not making it friendly. It's the fact of people throughout the world have their own lives. Why would you show up at somebody's house, whether they're 80 years old or 25 years old, and just automatically assume that they're home? Right? You'd call. Hey, we're going to come by on this day. You're going to be home. That's all it is. It's just normal, common courtesy and manners. Yeah. And by that, I also mean like taking care of your extended family, like money wise. Like giving them money or something like that. For instance, the Afri the Nigerian man. <clears throat> um, extended family member will visit and when they're leaving they'll give them money they will give them something or if they have need they will just send the money as long as they have it like it's not you know what mm -hmm. i mean yeah white american white man or family or american family it's not like that not really you have a problem if you, you deal with your own problem by yourself you, you sort yourself out Nobody's giving you any... Well, that's life. That's life. <laughs> Nobody's giving you any hand that's, handouts. That's life. <laughs> that's life, no matter how you slice it. Nobody's born into the world, into this world who should be expecting anything from anybody. You're born into this world to fend for yourself. That's life. You hear that? 
That's why funny. My African sister, you hear them? I so, don't try them. So, <laughs> listen, please. He's saying it. Oh. My mom comes anytime she wants. My sisters come anytime they want. My brother, my, he's not I like that. Like I, I met an African, I met an African man in the in the in the, in the white ones. Where, I don't know. I think that when a man really loves you, you know, he would he would embrace embrace you, embrace your culture. If that's what it should mm -hmm. be, because I don't think that he the way he's behaving and treating me and my fa entire family right now. I don't know if he has ever always been like that, or is it because he loves me? I've always been a person that I've never been married except to you. But, you know, past relationships, if the girl's parents came or whatever, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Don't bother me. I like company. Okay, so. It's your problem. They have this mentality of it's your problem, not mine. For instance, if if uh, <clears throat> if you have a problem, like if if you if you if there's something going on with you with your job or or you something is really going on with you, it's not. They don't usually butt butt in. They don't usually get involved. They have this mentality of it's your, it's your problem, you deal with it. Right, baby? Not, not necessarily. <laughs> if you have a problem that's life-threatening or, you know, something serious, then yes, I'm going to put my fat face in it <laughs> and help you out with it. But if it's something so minute that you feel it's a problem, so but it's, it's a minute thing. I'm not, I deal with it. Let me kiss. <laughs> Mama, you wanna say hi? She just woke up. Woke up. <laughs> okay, so for instance, babe, before I met you, the guy I went out for a while with, before I met you, so when I was thinking about, you know, what school to enroll, for my master, something like that. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't even help me with. He told me, "Listen, baby, this is your thing. You figure it out." Think that's not okay. But most of them are like that for the most part. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. that's that's not a man who's in a real relationship. Yeah, of course. Anyway. There were, most of these things, the, most of these cons was exactly him. I had I ran. I had to run out of that relationship because. Um, mm, Sister Africa is not gonna come and do that. I mean, is this a relationship or what? But I think for the most part, like they don't. Your problem is not really that, you know. Not, it, yeah. They will. They will. It depends on what it is, and it depends on how committed that man wants to be. Mm. So another one is they are not flamboyant. Yeah. White men are not flamboyant. They're not <laughs> like uh, African men, Nigerian men. They like to show off. They like to show off. They like to come. They they come to the party and they will throw money around. They will buy drinks for everybody. They will show you that they have arrived, that they have money. You know what I mean? Like, they, yeah. they, they show off. Most people that do that, black, white, Asian, whatever, just because something's lacking. No, baby. A man, a man doesn't have to show off to prove something. Baby, but that, that's what I'm saying. The Nigerian man, it's not because something is lacking. Just That's just how they are. They are very flamboyant people. Mm. It has something to do with pride. Their pride, you know, you know, to yeah. Um, another cons I think is they're not stylish people. <laughs> they're not. I'm oh, sorry. They're not stylish for the most part. Most of them. You do know that the fashion industry is like created by white people, right? 
for the black community, for the African Versace, Tommy Hilfiger. Mm -hmm. What else? For the Africans. Africans can dress. Like their dressing is the Google it is the best in the world. Those people can dress. They, Africans are stylish. African, black Americans, they are stylish. African people are really, really stylish people. In fact, they can overdress. They're going to the store. You think they're going for a party. <laughs> <laughs> you see them going to the store down the street just to go and buy, just walk down that the street or even a convenience store to go and buy something. <laughs> <laughs> and they are dressed like they're going to, for, for a wedding. I'm not even kidding you. The white person is there very... Simple, you know, basic. Just put on a t-shirt and a pants, and you're good. You know what I mean? Uh huh. So, <laughs> yeah. So if you're looking for a stylish man, the white man might not be your your best option. <clears throat> All right, guys. So we have said so much. We still have a lot of this to talk about, but this video is getting too long. So, um, we're gonna wrap it up here, and we're gonna make a part two of this topic later so thank you guys for watching this video thank you guys for tuning in with us we really really appreciate it please give this video a why is my mouth spring sprinkler in my mouth all the booze you drink during the day <laughs> 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 guys we are very very silly people and goofy don't take us seriously we are not trying to offend anybody by this video thank you guys for watching please give this video a massive thumbs up subscribe if you have not and turn on your notification bell so that each time we post a video you will be notified thank you all and have a blessed day bye so rest bye bye let me turn her, let her say bye bye. <laughs> say, people, please subscribe to mommy's channel. Subscribe to our channel. If you want to see my cute face every day, <laughs> subscribe to the channel. Bye, y'all.